Welcome back to the Be Dynamic Podcast. I'm your host, Darnisha, and it is so good to see you guys once again. So today is one of those episodes where there is no outline, but there is something that came across a video that I was watching and I was like, wow, I've never heard that perspective before. But the more I thought about it, the more it just made sense. So I was watching a video and the guy was just talking about change and he said that change is just returning to your old self sometimes and i was like wow that is some perspective because you know usually when you're changing you're becoming something new quote unquote you're becoming something new or someone new but i was just thinking like when we were younger they say that if you're looking for your purpose Go back to when you were younger. And one of the stats that he said is that we were the most ourselves from age six to nine. And it makes so much sense because as a kid, you're just, you're just a kid living life free. But at some point in your life, something happens to change you along the way. Um, A lot of people encounter bullies as a kid. A lot of people, even your family, they judge you on the things that you like to do, the things that make you most you. And then you end up changing because these people aren't accepting of who you are. And that that's crazy because it's, it's like then you get older and you're trying to figure out what you like, figure out yourself. When if you just think back to when you were a kid, you'll find out who you really are. Those kids who were super talkative in school, they just talk, 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 talk. We know that that was not, that was not praised in school. And now some of those people are super reserved, like, I'm just chilling. This is literally what my sister was talking about in the last episode. Like she just chilling when that's really not her. She really is outgoing, but so many things, so many people have said things along the way where she's just like, okay, I'm going to just chill, but that's not even you. So then you have these people in your life who's like, you're changing, you're changing, you, you different. This isn't different. And I'm sorry that you didn't know that, but this isn't different. This is the person I have. This is me. Like, this is the OG me. And it's just like that with fashion for me. When I was a kid, it was fashion. It was fashion. I used to sell bracelets. I used to sell these custom shoes. I used to do all type of fashion things when I was a kid. But along the way, (laughs) fashion, that's not going to make you no money. You got to be in somewhere like New York for that. And what I do? Went to school for something else, did not pursue what I really loved for so many years. But then after I'm I'm starting to change, I'm getting back to the OG me. Like no, nothing's really changing. I'm just going back. It's not the change that you would think. It's not the change where it's just totally new. It's not new. It's always been there. And Honestly, I think we all should open up to that perspective of thinking, okay, if it's something you're not enjoying in your life right now, you're not really loving the way it's going, think back to when you did. What was different about you? And try your hardest to get back to that. Because if you're somehow involved in all these things, helping all these people, but you're not happy on the inside, something's off. A lot of the times it can just be one thing that's off with you. Another simple example is a lot of people used to love to read, but at some point somebody told you that was lame. Somebody said, you're a nerd and you stop reading. But if that's the real you, open up a book because you, first of all, you never know what you will get from it. You never know what type of creativity that can spark in you. So I think we all should open our minds to revisiting our OG selves, revisiting who we used to be 
how we used to be and first take into account who you are right now. Take into account who you are, how you are. Figure out what things you like, what things you don't like and work towards getting back to the things that you like about your old self. Our current selves should be a perfect mixture of the old and the new. It should be a perfect mixture of who we really are and who we learn to be throughout life. Because there's there's lessons in life that make you a better person. But you were great back then too. So meshing those together, you'll be amazing. You'll love yourself even more. Me personally, I've just, it's easy for me to notice like if something's off, if I'm different. And I have been noticing that lately that something's different with me. I'm not the same as I was five months ago. And I know what it is. And my plan is to remove this certain thing out of my life so that I can be who I truly am right and you have the permission to do that like we have the power to create the life we love we have the power to create the person we want to be we have to stop letting society I'm gonna say society to be broad we gotta stop letting society build us Cause then you're just like a makeshift human. Like we're all created to be different. We're all created to, to be unique. And over time we just become the same makeshift human, the same makeshift human. Like, Oh, I love this. I love that. No, you don't. (laughs) No, you don't. Like I enjoy it though. I enjoy giving a, a different answer. And it'd be so funny. It's simple stuff like people be asking me, what TV shows you like? I don't watch TV. <laughs> I love saying I don't watch TV. I don't know why, but it's just, it's an answer that people don't expect. And I just love to see the confusion on their face. Like, what you be doing? Dude? <laughs> but honestly, like, it's little stuff like that. that that's not me. That is not me. And I'm not going to sit here and just so we can have a conversation or just so just to make you comfortable. I'm not going to sit here and act like I like that. I'm not going to sit here and act like that's who I am when I know it's not who I am. But you have to get comfortable with yourself first. You have to become comfortable and actually know who you are before you can walk in who you truly are and actually express who you are. Because I'm not going to lie. No, it it hasn't always been like that. I would try to act like, oh, yeah, I I think I've seen that show before. That was a pretty good show. Girl, you ain't never seen that show before. Stop playing. (laughs) Ain't never seen that show in my life. But the more you get to know yourself, the more you appreciate who you are. You appreciate who you've always been. Another thing that comes to mind is just like kids who were bullied for being nice. Like it's a lot of people out here that's in the streets and they were good kids. Like you were a good kid, but you got bullied for being a good kid. And now you're doing what you think is right. You're doing what you think these people who talked about you wants you to do but in actuality you were always good but nobody was there to tell you that you were good I'm here to tell you that you were good and it's okay to return to being a good person it's okay to return to your old self it's tough it's tough being somebody you're not and a lot of times when you're being someone that you're not life life is just hard because Now you have to keep up with this persona. You have to keep up with this. It's an act. It's a 24-7 act. You know how we have um, code switching? Baby, you code switching 24 hours a day. Like, that must be tough. Because you have to go to work. 
and be a certain person. You got to go home, be a certain person. You got to go out and be a certain person. When are you actually you? And a lot of times reverting back to your old self is just looked at as a bad thing. But like I said, it's not always bad. It really truly depends on what that trait was you had and how exactly did that change? Um, because we all have negative traits as well that need to change and get better. But a lot of times our good traits, once we're younger, they're looked at as bad and we can't really differentiate, okay, which is good, which is bad, which should I keep, which should I change? We just change to fit in with everyone around us. Um, so if you have that desire, if you've heard this today and you've had that desire, like, okay, I, I do miss who I used to be. I do miss nerding out from time to time. Like I do miss walking in the park alone. I miss it. I miss who I used to be because it made me happy. I want to give you a few ways that you can get back to your OG self. Okay. So number one is to be adventurous. Sometimes you don't remember exactly who you used to be or what made you happy. So try different things. Go out there. Be open-minded to different activities, different places, different restaurants. And one day something might spark your mind and, and you'll just be like, wow, I remember I used to love this. Or I remember I used to love that. Be open to different conversations with people because that can also spark your memory. A lot of times we just forget. We just forget. It's been so long since we've been our old selves that we just forget. So be open to all of these different things so that it can spark that memory inside of you. The next one is switch up your environment. If you're around people who aren't really letting you be your true self or letting you change freely, maybe those aren't the people that you need to be around. And I feel like I mentioned environment in every, every episode, but it's so important. It's so important to be around people who are open to letting you be you, open to letting you change, open to letting you figure out who you are and who what you're really supposed to be doing in this life. We only get one. You don't have time to keep trying to impress this crowd of people who are just trying to make you into a person that makes them comfortable. We don't have time for that. You got one life. And you might as well live it being happy. You might as well live it being you. So switch up that environment around you and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to because whatever is lost, more is gained. God will never take a person from you without giving you many, without giving you someone else that will be there to cheer you on on this journey. Lastly, think about who you want to be and write it down. Write it down. I want to be a boss. I want to be the nicest. I want to be helpful. I want to be someone people can call on and I show up. I want to be soft. I want to be just like that. Think of all the things you want to be. How do you see your future self being? What do you, your ideal self, how do you see it? How you would enjoy it? And figure out ways to get there. Actually work towards getting there. Because it's just something about seeing yourself as the person you want to be that's kind of motivating for you to get up and go do it. Like, yeah, I want that body. Because if you want that body, baby, get that body. I want that body. And you got to see yourself with this body. See yourself with this money that's helping other people in your community you have to see it and once you see it it will motivate you okay so write those things down figure out who exactly you want to be and create that person you want to be bubbly again be bubbly again if you want to be quiet and reserved be quiet and reserved it's okay like we are we're growing okay Nobody should be judging people for being who they are. It's not cool. It's, it's not cool. We're not kids no more. And apparently it has caused us so much trauma that we're not even being ourselves. So it's not cool. Walk in who you are. Be 
who you are. Don't be afraid of change. And don't be afraid to go back to your old self, which you love. That's all I have for you guys on this episode of the Be Dynamic Podcast. I hope that it touched you and I hope that it will change you for the better. Um, The year is almost over. We got three weeks left. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm super excited for 2024 for sure. (laughs) Y'all continue to change, progress, grow, be dynamic. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope Bye. you learn to make it on your own And if you let yourself just know you'll never be alone I hope that you get everything you want and that you chose